everyone, welcome back to Top 10 Gaming. I'm your host Kelly Pally, and today we'll be revisiting one of our previous lists, Sonic Easter Eggs. Part 2. We'll be diving a lot more into the recent Sonic Mania game, since well it's its whole thing is being retro to begin with, right down to the premise. So with that in mind, let's jump into our part 2 of the Top 10 Insane Sonic Easter Eggs. In at number 10 is Daytona USA. Sonic Mania features a few references to one of Sega's biggest arcade games, Daytona USA. And by a few, we mean two, specifically. The first borrows the memorable Daytona voice counting down 3, 2, 1 during the game's unlockable multiplayer matches. And the second, it's a reference to the arcade classic and appears during the Studiopolis Zone, in which a vehicle bearing the famous high class Hornet writing appears sitting atop a stand in the level. And Sonic actually enters it and becomes a satellite signal. So that's pretty cool. In at number 9 is the C. CRT filter. What's one way to make your players feel more nostalgic? By adding a filter that literally takes you back to the way screens looked in the 90s. In a very slight but ever so appreciated feature, in the options screen in Sonic Mania, you can put on a CRT filter to make your screen look like the CRT screens of the past. And it's pretty damn cool, but also subtle. Up next, number 8 is the Super Sonic Store. Jumping out of the Sonic games here and into a little bit of Grand Theft Auto, let's take a look at how the Rockstar franchise slipped a little Sonic Easter egg into their latest game, GTA V. There's a jewelry store in San Andreas called Super Sonic, with the subheading, The Ultra Fast Ring Specialist, on its storefront. Now, if you guys want to find it, here's a map that shows you exactly where it is. And at number 7 is the multiplayer screen. Look at that! They're squished, just like the way they used to be. For those of you who've had the joy of playing Sonic 2 in multiplayer, one of the things that you may recognize in Sonic Mania is that the multiplayer screens are squished together on the screen, the way they appeared when Sonic 2 was released. Which is pretty neat. Not sure if it's overly practical though, but still cool. In at number 6 is Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine was a falling block puzzle game, kinda like Tetris, or the westernized version of Poyo Poyo, which came out in 1993. Now in the chemical plant stage, Act 2, there's a boss battle that references this game in the best way possible, by recreating Creating it. In at number 5 is Team Hooligan. Those who haven't read the Sonic comics may not be familiar with Team Hooligan, a group of characters that comprised of Knack the Weasel, Bean the Dynamite, and Bark the Polar Bear, who first debuted in 2014. Now enter the Mirage Saloon Zone in Sonic Mania, a zone where one egg robo boss gets a little nostalgic. The heavy magician boss turns into these three characters, who you then have to battle, along with Fang the Sniper too, who also hasn't been seen in quite some time. In at number 4 is Genesis Does What Nintendo Don't. <laughs> Puns. Another easter egg featured in Sonic Mania in the Studiopolis Zone, this one references the old rivalry between Sega and Nintendo that was at its peak in the 90s, and is still kinda happening now. Sonic, after all, was created as Sega's new mascot in order to compete with Nintendo's Mario, so naturally the two have had a heated rivalry for years and years. During one part of the Studiopolis Act 2 stage, there's panels that you can flip to reveal letters on the other side, and they read Genesis Does, which is a reference to the old Genesis Does when Nintendo don't ads. Genesis does. Those ads clearly being from the 90s. And at number 3 is Sonic CD Hidden Message. If you enter debug mode in Sonic CD, there's a secret message screen that appears if you enter in the numbers 46, 12, 25 in sound test. What is revealed is a screen with the message, Fun is Infinite with Sega Enterprises, written in Japanese, that is signed by the devil, and features that creepy US boss theme music playing underneath it. Along with a bunch of deformed Sonics in the background. Now, there's a few rumors as to why this exists. The most plausible being a screen that was meant to pop up for those attempting to pirate the game, while other theories suggest that it's a dig at Nintendo, since Sonic kind of looks a little bit like a deformed Mario. On this screen, that is. In at number 2 is Miles Tails Prower. In one of the most obvious but barely noticed Easter eggs, did you guys know that Tails' name is a reference to Sonic's speed? When the character was created as part of the Sega Technical Institute's internal competition to come up with a sidekick for Sonic, creator Yasushi Yamaguchi won for his two-tailed orange fox, and decided to name him Miles Prower, as in Miles Per Hour. Uh -huh. Eventually the name Tails was included, primarily for simplicity's sake, but Miles Prower was kept as his official name, with Tails being more of a nickname. And finally, in our number one spot is self-deprecation. So what can top one of the most iconic Sonic characters having their name be an easter egg? Well, some good ol' self-deprecation from Sega. So let's backtrack for some context here. The game Sonic Mania was announced to celebrate the 25th anniversary of Sonic the Hedgehog, and that announcement just just so happened to be revealed during an awful livestream event, in which the script was pretty much garbage, the presenters were really awkward, and most annoyingly, there was a buzzing noise present during the entirety of the live stream. That's the sound of 25 years of Sonic! Yeah, 
painful. So guess what the cheeky developers at Sega did? At the end of the boss fight in the easter egg ridden Studiopolis zone, there's a large screen that's playing in the background the entire time. And when you win that boss battle, it emits the same exact buzzing noise that was present during the live stream. Which is pretty genius. There we have it friends. Have you spotted any of these easter eggs? Let us know in those comments below. And as always, if you dug this video, please hit those like and subscribe buttons. Spread the love! We've got a ton of other great videos you can also check out on our channel too. So feel free to head on over there after this video. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I've been Kelly Pally and this has been Top 10 Gaming. I'll see you all in the next one.